Now I'm gonna show you the science art part of mixing colors. So we're going to be creating the colors of the rainbow and it's gonna go in an order. And we're only going to be using three colors to start. We're gonna be using our primary colors, red, yellow, and blue. And we're going to set them up in our cups so that we can see the colors change and they're gonna move kind of like a caterpillar using paper tops. <clears throat> so all again, all you need for this, this project, if you decide that you wanna do this project at home, which again, you do not have to do, the project part is not a requirement. This is just something fun that I wanted to show you to mix colors. Um, but if you do wanna do it at home, it takes six paper pieces of paper towel, the three colors, you can use water <clears throat> and food coloring, and all you need is red, yellow, and blue, and then you need seven cups. <clears throat> All right, we're gonna get started. So now that I have my seven cups lined up, I'm going to fill every other one halfway up with water. There's my first one. Second. Third, a little more halfway, but I think that should be okay. And then we're actually going to put an extra cup of, lot of water at the end that we're going to fill red two times. And you'll see why at the end. So then we take our food coloring, which I went ahead and I already put inside my cup to make it a little bit easier. And I'm gonna fill the very first cup of red. And I'm also going to fill my very last cup of red. And again, you'll see at the very end whenever it starts to create a tea color. And just for this to be able to mix it up a little bit better, I'm gonna just transfer it back and forth from this cup to this cup, just so we can get a nice, pretty red. And I'm gonna do the same over here. So I just mix and I mix. And then I'm going to add yellow. Nice, pretty yellow. Okay, so now we have our water cup set up. Now we need to set up our paper towels. So you're gonna take one piece of paper towel and you're going to fold it in half hot dog style. So we're holding it hot dog style. And remember, because that is a long way, it's horizontally from left to right. All right, so we're going to fold it hot dog style one time and we're gonna push real hard on that crease. Then we're going to take it again and we're gonna fold it again hot dog style in half. Again, pushing on that crease so it's nice and tight. And then you're going to take your whole entire paper towel and you're going to fold it in half so that it kind of makes like this. So you're going to make this kind of shape. All right, so now we have those. And again, you're going to need six of these. So I went ahead and I already pre-did my six. And now I'm going to get ready and I'm gonna set up all my paper towel pieces in here so that it can start making our caterpillar of new colors. All right, so we dip our first paper towel in the one half. And then on the other part just kind of sets inside this empty glass. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to set it up for all of the colors. So it just kind of crawls from one to the next. You can see they're already starting to move up the paper towel. And you'll notice immediately that the water is going to start absorbing into your paper towel. And it's going to kind of start to look like it's falling right up the paper towel into the new color. Already starting to color, so it's nice and nice. This one's already starting to crawl quick, pretty quickly. And then our very last one, dipping it again into the red that's on the end cup, and back into the middle. All right, so now we're gonna give it a little bit of time, and it depends on how much, uh, what kind of paper towels you use, is depending on how long it's going to take for each color to crawl into the next cup. So we're gonna give it a little bit of time and then I'm going to check back with you. We're gonna take a look at our brand new colors and then we're gonna get started on making our butterfly. And we're gonna be making a butterfly using different colors of the rainbow. All right, I'll see you in a minute. All right, welcome back. So now you can see that we've got all these different colors. These really awesome new colors are starting to really form. 
the longer that you let it sit and the longer that you can let it stay and still soak in the different colors, the better results that you'll get as far as how bright the colors are. But so right now, we can see just a little bit of how it's starting to form. So let's take a look. So we started with red at the beginning. So we have red and that has mixed in now with the yellow and it's created this really pretty orange color. So it's starting to be orange. So now we can definitely see that red and yellow mixed together create orange. And then if we look over here, we can see the yellow cup and you can see the blue cup. And this one is actually this really beautiful color green. So it's now we can see the yellow and blue. When we mix those together, they create green. And now if we move over here to the end where we had to add, add red, now we had to add red because red and blue together makes a purple color and you can start to see the purple in here. But we had to add red at the end of the cup because we didn't have another color for it to filter into. So that's why we had to have two reds on the end. All right, now we're ready to get started on making our butterfly. And we're gonna create a butterfly and we're gonna be using all of the colors that we just created and we're going to be using any kind of coloring materials that you wanna use, whether it's crayons, whether it's paint, whether it's colored um, chalk, you could use oil pastels, you could use markers, um, or you could use crayons. So we are going to create a butterfly using all of the colors of the rainbow next. All right, let's get ready. Hello kindergarten, welcome back. So right now we're going to create our drawing of our beautiful butterfly. So we're gonna use all of the colors of the rainbow. So right now I want you to gather either some crayons, some markers, or some colored pencils so that we can start creating our butterfly. We're going to be using some different things inside of our butterfly today because we're going to be doing a drawing. So we're gonna draw it and then we're going to add the color. We're going to also be adding some texture to our butterfly today, to certain parts of it. So you're gonna to need to find something that might have a little bit of texture. What is texture? Texture is something that you can feel or you can see. The texture we're gonna be talking about is the kind that you can feel. So I want you to find something, whether it's something that's bumpy or something that's rough. We're gonna find something that we are able to put our piece of paper on top of and color on top of to get a little bit of texture on part of our butterfly. I'm going to show you some materials in a little bit that you can use around your house to add some texture. We're also going to be talking about using different lines when we create our butterfly, whether they're straight lines or zigzag lines. And you can think back on all those other projects we did throughout the year where we've used different lines. And we're going to be using some of those for our butterfly too. Then we're gonna add some color, and then we're going to add a couple shapes inside of our butterfly. We've also been talking a lot this year about all different kinds of shapes, whether they're circles or squares or triangles, and we're gonna add some of them into our beautiful butterfly we're going to draw. All right, let's get started. All right, welcome back, kindergarten. So today we're going to get started on drawing our picture of our butterfly. And the first thing that I want you to do is I want you to get a piece of paper. And if you don't have a piece of white computer paper or white construction paper, you could use lined paper, you could use the back of an envelope, you could use a paper bag, you could use anything that has a flat surface that we can get started with. The other thing that you're going to need to go and find is something around your house that has some sort of texture to it. I went ahead and I cut apart a Amazon envelope because the back of it has a really good bubble texture to it that might make a good creation underneath our piece of paper. So I brought one of those as an example and then I also found a pot holder that I had in my in one of my drawers and it also has a nice rough texture to it so you could use that for underneath your paper. So we're going to set aside our textural elements because we don't need them just yet and we're going to focus on our piece of paper. If you want to use a marker, you could use a marker to draw your butterfly, or you could use a black crayon. Either one works fine. All right, so we're gonna get started. The first thing that we wanna do is we wanna make the body of our butterfly. So we're gonna start at the top and we're gonna use one of the shapes, and our first shape is going to be a circle. And we're going to add one circle to the top. Go ahead and add one circle to the top. 
Once we make the nap, that circle, we're going to fill this right down the center with six different circles. We're gonna do one for the head, a smaller one for the body, that makes two, three, four, five, and six. And then inside the top one, we're going to use, this is our head of our butterfly. So next we're going to add two circles inside, one and two. And we've practiced all this year when we created our monsters and we made it so that we could make our monster look to the left or he could be looking to the right. Either way, I want you to decide how you want your butterfly to look. Do you want him looking straight at you? Do you want him looking to the side, looking up or looking down? I'm gonna choose to make my butterfly look down. So when I make my butterfly look down, I make sure that I add the two black circles looking down. If I wanted him to be looking up, I would add them to the top. Once we've added our eyes, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add our antennas. So I want you to make two lines and you can put two little black dots at the top. And now we're ready to create our body of our butterfly. So with the body of the butterfly, we're gonna start on one side, we're gonna go out, around, and in. And on the other side, the same thing, out, around, and in. And then we're going to add two more to both the bottom. Down, around, and in down, around, and in. Now inside our butterfly, we wanna add some lines, some shapes, and some textures. So we're gonna start off by adding some lines. So we're gonna add a zigzag line on one side. So remember we do one zigzag, another zigzag on the other side, and then I want you to go ahead and you're gonna add another shape. So let's add a triangle. One triangle here, one triangle here. And now we're going to add part of our texture. So now that we've drawn our butterfly, we're gonna move on to coloring. When you're coloring, you are going to need a crayon. A crayon is, you're going to have to use a crayon for the texture part because that's the way that we're gonna get a really good texture. So we're gonna start off, I'm gonna do part of my texture with the bubble wrap, and I'll do part of my texture with the pot holder to show you what both look like. So anything that you can find that has a rough or bumpy surface, and you're gonna put it underneath your picture, Set your picture on top, and you're gonna pick any crayon color that you want. I'm gonna start off with red. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to color over top of the texture, and I'm going to push down so that I start to see all the bumpiness that's going on underneath from the bubble wrap, and you can start to see where it goes a little bit lighter, and it's a little darker, and when you fill it in, going to add all that pretty texture so that it doesn't look like it's flat. It now looks like it has somewhat of a bumpy surface. I want you to try it another part. So once you're done with that, set that aside, get your other textural element and you're going to set it down and I want you to pick out another different color and I'm going to do blue on this side. So now I'm going to do maybe this part of my butterfly. And again, you're going to push hard with that texture underneath. and you're gonna to start to see how it looks a little rougher than it would if we were just to color it on a flat surface. Once we move that aside, just to make sure we did it right, I'm gonna take another different color, and I want you to start coloring in the other parts of your butterfly. And you're gonna end up filling in all of your butterfly, and you can see that when you color these parts in, these parts are very easy to color in, and you can fill in the entire spot. But these parts that we use texture to have a little bit of white showing because we wanted to be able to see that texture. The other very important thing that I want you to do, the reason that we made six circles on our butterfly is so that we can color in the order of the rainbow like we were practicing. And then you can show me all of the colors that you saw from the video earlier. And we're gonna start with the head being red. So red, since it's the top of <coughs> the rainbow, we're gonna start with red. Remember when you're coloring that you're using good craftsmanship and you're filling in all those white spots. Next would be orange. So you're gonna find your orange crayon and you're gonna color in all of the colors. And then after orange comes yellow. And then comes what? Green. 
After green comes blue. And after blue, purple. And now I want you to take the time and I want you to fill in all the other spots. Make sure you color all of your white spots. And if you want, you can find other textures and put it underneath and color the rest of the outside of your butterfly. All right, I can't wait to see what you created. Make sure you check the directions to upload your project. Make sure you take a picture and upload it for me. All right, enjoy.